Marco stepped out of the corner, landed to the five by Floyd Mayweather. But offensively, Roy, I think he's an entirely different fighter. Great left hand by DeMarco. Straight right hand by Bronco. Left hook lands again, right on the spot where the red mark, and again. Those are Broner's left hooks. Now here's DeMarco. has been cut in the past. Oh, good hook. By Broner. And Broner, if he weren't profoundly confident. That's his DeMarco coming in with a left hand. But it's also because DeMarco is just standing right there in front of him. He's not giving much head movement. Straight left hand across the top. Nobody thrown two punches in a row yet? Well, why would that be? Because they're trying to establish respect for one another. There's a body blow by DeMarco, a right hook to the rib cage, and there's another one as DeMarco begins basically to warm up a little bit. Broner's moving up in weight. Our right hand by Broner. Does better when he can get Broner to the ropes. Uh, but that's on Broner. Broner has to decide whether he wants to go to the ropes. He's the guys who spent the bulk of their career focusing on amateur fighters rather than professionals. DeMarco can't win the inside. By Broner and another. DeMarco with a right to the body. Broner lands an uppercut and another. DeMarco fires back with a right and a left. We've got a fight breaking out in Atlantic City. With a minute to go in DeMarco with uppercuts. Yeah, because his hands are so much more quicker than DeMarco. DeMarco can't win that fight right there. DeMarco lands a straight left. And the right hook. Broner made it. Here. And not only that, but the shorter fighter is also the quicker fighter. Let's listen to Michael Stafford now from the corner of Adrian Broner. Broner just taking DeMarco apart at the moment. On the knee! On the knee! Hey, get it to you! Combination punches on the inside are killing DeMarco. is warning Broner for Broner for DeMarco to continue to take him. What do you think the warning was, Roy? Well, it's just when he got close to him, he realized that his hands were too quick. Don't stay away from him. Get close to him and get at him. Big shot. Yeah, it's not looking good for him right now. Romulo Curarte told Antonio DeMarco he wanted to stop the fight, and DeMarco talked him out of it. He's finna stop it soon, though, if he keeps taking this kind of punishment. No sense in letting him take this type of punishment. He can live to fight another day. Good hook by DeMarco. Capable, really, at this point, of hurting Broner with any one punch. That punch hurt. It's very Marco. difficult to turn it around. A body punch. Look at Jim. 59, 54, five rounds to one, Adrian Broner. You, you know, Jim, I gotta tell you something. These two guys are fighting head to head, toe to toe, for six rounds. Uh, Adrian, uh, Antonio DeMarco. In the dressing room before the fight, oh, oh, thanks, thanks. when he was Get brought the pink glove. That good with the black girls. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Well, I used to say a fighter is in the pink, but not this kind of pink. With a good head shot between those punches to make him stop. Marco swinging away with the straight left hand. Only got a glancing blow. Broner's landing solidly with the short, tight. And then for those pop shots. Well, it looks almost like he's trying to tire Broner out by taking. Swinging left hook. And they're waving a white 
flag in DeMarco's First time DeMarco's corner. DeMarco's been knocked down in his career. He was stopped on his feet against Valero. And they wave a white flag of surrender, as Larry points out, in particular, on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, referee Benji Estevez calls a halt to the bout. The official time, a one minute, 49 seconds of round number eight. The winner by TKO victory and new WBC lightweight world champion, now a two-time champion of the world from Cincinnati, Ohio, Adrian, the problem.